is a God of retribution. O God of retribution, reveal yourself. Judge of the earth, arise. Render to the arrogant their recompense. How long shall the wicked, O Lord? How long shall the wicked exult? They continuously speak insolently. All the evildoers act arrogantly. They crush your people, O Lord, and oppress your heritage. They kill the widow and the stranger and murder the orphans. And they say, The Lord does not see, the God of Jacob does not perceive. Understand, you senseless among the people, you fools, when will you become wise? Shall he who implants the ear not hear? Shall he who forms the eye not see? Shall he who chastises nations not punish? Shall he who imparts knowledge to man not know? The Lord knows the thoughts of man, that they are not. Fortunate is the man whom you chastise, O Lord, and instruct him in your Torah, bestowing upon him tranquility in times of adversary, until the pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not abandon his people, nor forsake his heritage. For judgment shall again be consonant with justice, and all the upright in heart will pursue it. Who would rise up for me against the wicked ones? Who would stand up for me against the evildoers? Had the Lord not been a help to me, my soul would have soon dwelt in the silence of the grave. When I thought that my foot was slipping, your kindness, O Lord, supported me. When my worrisome thoughts multiply within me, your consolation delights my soul. Can one in the seat of evil, one who makes iniquity into law, consort with you? They band together against the life of the righteous and condemn innocent blood. The Lord has been my stronghold, my God, the strength of my refuge. He will turn their violence against me and destroy them through their own wickedness. The Lord, our God, will destroy them. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us praise our voices in jubilation to the rock of our deliverance. Let us approach him with thanksgiving. Let us raise our voices to him in song. For the Lord is a great God and a great King over all supernal beings. In his hands are the depths of the earth, and the heights of the mountains are his. Indeed, the sea is his, for he made it, his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us prostrate ourselves and bow down. Let us bend the knee before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people that he tends, the flock under his guiding hand, even this very day, if you would but hearken to hear his voice. Do not harden your heart as at Mariva, as on the day at Massa in the wilderness, when your fathers tested me, they tried me, though they had seen my deeds. For forty years I quarreled with that generation, and I said, They are a people of erring hearts. They do not know my ways. So I vowed in my anger that they would not enter my resting place. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his deliverance from day to day. Recount his glory among the nations, his wonders among all the peoples. For the Lord is great and highly praised. He is awesome above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are taught. But the Lord made the heavens. Majesty and splendor are before him might and beauty in his sanctuary. Render to the Lord, O families of nations, render to the Lord honor and might. Render to the Lord honor due to his name. Bring an offering and come to his courtyards. Bow down to the Lord in resplendent holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Proclaim all the nations, the Lord reigns. Indeed, the world is firmly established that it shall not falter. He will judge the peoples with righteousness. The heavens will rejoice, the earth will exult, the sea and its fullness will roar, the fields and everything therein will jubilate, then all the trees of the forest will sing. Before the Lord they shall rejoice, for he has come, for he has come to judge the earth, he will judge the world with justice and the nations with his truth. <laughs> 